Alright guys, video 4, the last one of the tutorials. Um, we're going to talk about creating simple objects in the right place in Maya. In this case, a couple of containers where the robot will uh, be walking on top of. And making a detailed mesh based on the footage. It, it's really the same. So, still in 3D Equalizer, we're going to check if there is a tracking point that is really close to the edge of a container there kinda is, that is this one we're going to 3D Equalizer export project to FBX now with this method the other uh, method in video 3 um, was really really slow and that was because of uh, Nuke the point cloud generator in Nuke is really slow and it takes a lot of time and a lot of parameters to get it really pretty okay. Uh, in this video we are making a much detailed mesh. It does take a little bit more of the user, so you and me, to get it right. But this is much much better to give to the 3D guys. and it goes straight to Maya so we don't have to use Nuke which is a lot better so in the camera we're going to environment and we are going to add an image plane we never get to the footage that we have of the shot now we already have a TIFF sequence uh, I already exported it you check use image sequence and that's about it you can increase the depth because this is a huge shot with uh, a large focal length now now at least we can see the footage if we go to panels perspective and then our camera we can see all the tracking points uh, stick to the footage Zooming in and out isn't <laughs> really good. Um, but that is the tracking point that we are going to use uh, to place our container. And in the beginning, it can be pretty rough as long as it is, um, uh, as long as you can see it in the camera. We are going to position the container uh, later on. So, the container is really simple, it's just a stretched cube. What I did uh, for the controls was modify and then the universal manipulator. Works really great. Uh, you have all the tools necessary. Sometimes it's a bit strange to change um, going back to our camera as you can see the uh, the cube or the container 3d container it sticks in the footage but it's just not in the right place so we need to move it down and we want to use the orange container above the young Ming so we can rot it, rotate it I know this is the right frame because uh, we are looking dead on to the container so if we make the 3D object exactly the same we know it's it's good so now I'm just moving the uh, edge of the container onto the right place of the footage and it's just a little bit of trial and error really um, Now we can see that the dimensions of the 3D object aren't correct, so we need to increase it. Now I got an error because the footage isn't really 530, 40, but 539 frames long. So I just change it. Now we increase the length, 
and the height to roughly about the size of the container and as you can see it already sticks pretty well Just checking the uh, tracking points if they were in the correct place. A little bit of rotating. And again, zooming in, fucks it up. So I need to control. Uh, Z now I'm going to assign a new material so I can make it transparent I can bring the opacity down or the transparency This way you can see the actual footage behind it and I can more accurately see if uh, it sticks in the right place. Little bit of tweaking. The reason why we do this so carefully is because we know the rest of the containers is roughly about the same size. There are a couple of half containers. Um, but still we can just copy and paste this one and if this one is in the right position and in the right angle we can just really really easily uh, copy and paste them into the right place now copy and paste and drag towards the next container and it's six now I'm going to make a mistake over here I'm going to duplicate it but then I moved the wrong container so I just lost the first container I had um, but I'll be moving uh, I'll be making a cut in here uh, towards the file where I have all the containers already and that's this one I made them uh, semi-transparent so you can see they have containers so these are all the containers that are on top the robot will be walking on top of it from the back towards the front and it will jump off the front uh, container as most of you guys probably already would have been seen at the blog alright and that's about it you can hand this file um, to the 3D guys or to the animators and uh, they can animate the robot on top of it. It is in the correct scale because we already set the distance strain and uh, good luck guys.